Hey guys. Okay, let's talk a little bit about reflections, which is another form of transformation. When you think about reflections, keep in mind the mirror effect. It's when a shape, object, or person... Eric, Bobby, not that kind of reflection. One way to indicate a reflection is with something called a reflection line. It's the line that reflects the original shape to the new image. So let's reflect Eric Bobby's brain point B, our original point across the reflection line. The original point B and B prime should be the exact same distance from the reflection line. Count how many units point B is away from the reflection line. Now move the point the same amount of units to on the other side of the reflection line. Here is our new point, our image, which is represented by B prime and is the new location of Eric Bobby's imaginary brain. Captain Reflecto, the humans need you! Let's see an example with the reflection line being placed right on the y-axis. Question. Reflect triangle LMN, giving the reflection line below. Count how many units each point is away from the reflection line. The image would be the same number of units on the other side of the reflection line. Let's start with point N. Point N is one unit away from the reflection line, so the image of N is one unit from the other side of the reflection line. Now point L. Point L is five units away from the reflection line, so L prime is five units from the other side of the reflection line. Same thing with point M. Point M is three units away from the reflection line, so M prime would be three units from the other side of the reflection line. Now connect the image points L prime, M prime and N prime. 